Hi, my name's Karen. I'm a facilitator from in ACAC. And today we have Dean and Brendan from Ohio Northern University. I'd like to go over a couple of things first. If you should have questions, make sure you use the Q&A button to type your questions. We will not be using the chat feature. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists can't see you or hear you. And we encourage you to sign up for more sessions that go on the rest of this week. So check out the schedule at inacac.org backslash virtual dash college dash exploration. There will also be a recording available of this presentation and you will find those at the same website. After the presentation, I will have one more screen to share with you. And right now I'm going to turn it over to Ohio Northern. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dean Altstetter here with Ohio Northern uh, along with um, Brendan Moorhead. And we're here to talk to you about College 101 and um, about the um, admissions process and other helpful information um, about Ohio Northern and um, choosing a college in general. We'd like to start off by asking you a few questions in a fun way. Um, you can go to this website at www.menti.com and use the code 22542921. And we'd love to, to see what extracurricular activities or organizations um, interest you the most as you think about college. So if you wanna go there right now, and you can enter up to um, three, uh, three different words. Um, please feel free. And um, we'd love to see what, what interests you, uh, what, you're, what you're interested in. And it can be maybe things that you're interested in now in high school, uh, things that you might be interested in in the future as you consider, think about college. And so you can, um, oh, it looks like someone's interested in track and field, great. It can be sports related, um, music. Oh, that's fantastic. And we'll talk about some of these um, opportunities too as we go along. Great. Also, um, Trying to advance the slide here. Hold on a second. Not sure how that advanced slide works on this one, but um, let me go back to my initial slide here. So my apologies. We have another opportunity, and um, this one uses a QR code. So if you can see that easily, switch your phone to the camera mode and um, this one is through slido.com. We have some trivia questions to ask you. I'm not sure how much you know about Ohio Northern University, but um, besides for the university, what else is Ada, Ohio known for? That's the town um, that we're in. And, and you can guess if you don't know for sure, but we're just curious on, on how much you know. So I'm sure you've used a QR code before. Um, just put it right up there and you should be able to see it go to your web browser. And um, I'm just, you can press the send button after you. Oh, looks like we have some that have entered in our pork rind festival. Okay, great. It updates as you, as you submit those. And I'll give you another 10 seconds. Besides for owing you, what else is Ohio, Ada, Ohio known for? Pork rind festival, making footballs, an indoor marathon, a national pumpkin chunkin championship where squaggles are invented. That's great. Yes, 
um, there are festivals around, but uh, the neighboring town has a pork rain festival, um, but you might see them at our festival, um, but that's, uh, that's the name of the one in the, our neighboring town. Um, but it is true that we make the footballs for the Super Bowl every year right here in Ada, Ohio, made in Ada. Um, and it is true that we have an indoor marathon uh, in our 200 meter indoor track. Um, we have done that in the past. People have um, qualified for some of the bigger marathons in our nation. Um, the, a national pumpkin chunkin championship, it's, this is home to that championship where some of our uh, engineering students and engineering faculty, retired engineering faculty have created catapults um, and um, seen how far they can throw these with their devices with their um, um, inventions um, and uh, I'm not sure about squaggles we have them but uh, they're probably invented somewhere else but yeah thanks for that um, and um, we'd like to now go to uh, our presentation and And I have to switch one more thing here. Um, hold on one second. Let's see, this is a. Uh... There we go. Nope, nope, that's the wrong one. I apologize on that one. There we go. And. Um, We'd like to know more about you. There's another QR code. If you want to um, take your phone, give us your information. We would love to um, find out more about you and, um, and answer any questions and maybe set up a college visit later on. So feel free to use that here and we'll give you a chance to see that later too, if you would like. We're around 3000 students here with uh, 342 acres. And students uh, enjoy how much the buildings are spread out in the wide green open spaces that we have here for various events and just for walking around. And um, you can find out a lot of uh, these details on our website too, if you would just put in um, onu.edu and search the about tab. And we have, we started in 1871 as a college for um, teachers continuing education and developed these um, other colleges um, started with arts and sciences and now we're up to five and um, and we will talk about many of these programs um, in, in all of these colleges and around uh, 20 in size um, in terms of our, um, our average class size faculty to student student to faculty ratio there at the, at the, uh, at the bottom and part of our um, Ohio Northern Promise involves uh, these three aspects with the four-year guarantee. Um, you can find out more about that on our website most of, in most of our undergraduate programs. Uh, we'll talk about hands-on high impact learning um, opportunities uh, for our students and what they've been able to achieve as they um, prepare for either graduate school or uh, for their employment. And then also sustain, uh, along with that, sustain job placement um, and um, great professional school ad admissions rates for, for graduates. So, and we'll talk about that too as we go along. But uh, part of our philosophy, or, philosophy here at Ohio Northern is that we want to start you in the major that you're interested in from day one. Uh, you'll see that with our the College of Pharmacy, um, with engineering. We don't have pre-engineering. We don't have pre-nursing. We, we start with uh, students uh, right in their degree program. Um, and that way, not only do you get uh, into the program earlier, but if you need to make a change, uh, there's time to do that. And then you'll take the general education requirements throughout your four years um, instead of doing them all uh, up in the beginning. Um, so Capstone courses, exciting ways to just pull it all together in your junior and senior year in different projects and things that will uh, allow you to um, showcase what you know and dig a little deeper into the major areas that you're interested in. Uh, and maybe that involves research. Maybe it's um, something more hands-on like in engineering, um, but uh, 
but exciting ways for you to prepare uh, for, for your job or for, for graduate school. And some of our um, senior experiences include internships. You'll see some of those listed there. Some uh, the ones in this area are for some of the common ones for business students. You'll see a, a few there for some of our engineering uh, students as well, uh, along with co-op um, opportunities there. And um, doing a co-op with uh, technology or engineering is an, an option here. You, some students will be here for four years and go to graduate school, or they might be here for four years and start working. But, uh, but that is an, an option with our engineering and, and technology students. And then you can see how we compare percentage wise with our with ONU compared to schools more our size in our conference that sort of thing. Uh, and then statewide or uh, with national uh, with state schools. And so lots of involvement, as you can see there, and uh, ways to really uh, dive in, engage with the faculty in, in the areas that interest you the most. We have a change in our schedule. We're, we've added a J term, uh, which is two to three weeks in January and giving students an option to uh, study abroad during that time. They can also study abroad during the uh, a full semester, but um, and especially in times like this, not sure how much traveling is going to be happening. But uh, but that will that would be that was the intent in giving that um, time period for study abroad. And also, if you want to take any class uh, during that time, you can. Um, list of courses you can take that interests you uh, to kind of customize your college experience. You can also have a longer break if you need that, uh, or um, some people want to work longer. Um, but then this, the spring semester will start up there at the end of, of January. Um, of course, we have other um, experiential learning and service learning. Um, and uh, I always like to point out some of the students in part of their experience have developed the Mars rover at the replica of the of Mars rover on display at the Neil Armstrong and Space Museum. Um, great team of engineering students right there. Rank number three now um, among Midwest regional colleges, rank number six, um, according to pay scale, uh, feel free, you'll find those on our website on our, near our about page um, as well. And Zippia writes this is number one most likely to get students jobs in Ohio, third in the nation. Um, you can see our placement is around 96% of our students are working or have a job um, between graduation and six months after with almost all of our students reporting right here. Lots of ways of getting involved here. Uh, 200 plus student organizations, some of those clubs, organizations related to your major. Uh, some are more related to uh, cultural backgrounds or maybe um, uh, special things uh, that you've been in, that you've done in high school, uh, like the performing arts and visual arts, whether you're a musician, uh, you like to be on stage in our theater or um, a singer, um, artist. Um, we, we have many uh, things that you can do, whether you're majoring in that area or whether you just want to continue it and do it for fun while you're in college. Um, a full list of, of things that you can explore. Uh, of course, many of our students give back and uh, you can see 50,000 hours and that involves almost half of our student body, um, around 1500 students. So uh, this is definitely a culture of service here and, um, and, and days like the ACE Day Ada Community Engagement Day or Love Day in the spring. Um, if you're one that likes to give back, you'll see many opportunities here and students do take advantage of that. Or maybe you're an athlete and you want to continue um, uh, playing sports, but at the college level, D3, NCAA level, we have a full list uh, for you to, to look at on onusports.com. We also have intramural sports, the um, teams we create just here on campus, and then we have club sports as well. And they have various um, other colleges that they've played in various sizes. Um, schedule might differ, but uh, those three types. Um, and then of course we have, all, as you can see there, esports as well. And I think we're up to 10 or 11 games, um, but uh, reach out to us if you have an interest there in, in video games and, and esports.
our athletic fields are shown here. The track was redone a couple years ago. Um, and we have turf fields. Um, we also have some nice wooded areas, some trails, um, ways to get, get out there outside and get your exercise on our 2.4 uh, track ar around campus. Uh, it's always nice to, for a walk or a, a jog. And um, if you're interested in Greek life, we have um, uh, seven national fraternities here, four national sororities, and they have different events like Greek Olympics and the pyramid competition or the chariot race that they have there. Or um, maybe you're interested and you've done the ice bucket challenge and you want to step it up to the polar plunge. Well, um, Delta Sigma Phi hosts that event every year in February. And um, some think it's a right of becoming a true polar air, but I don't know about that. But if you're interested in Greek life, um, not only do they have the organizations, but they also have um, different housing options for them to, to live together as brotherhood and sisterhoods on campus. And uh, we're affiliated with the United Methodist Church. We have chapel every Thursday at 11, um, and, but it's an option for our students. Uh, if you want to attend, great. Uh, if not, uh, don't worry. Uh, that's fine. And, and that time will always be open. Won't, there will not be any classes at that time. Um, so in case students want to attend or not, it, there will be no conflicts. Uh, and we have 20 religions and denominations, and sometimes they meet during the week or, or on the weekends as well. And part of our history includes Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. spoke here on campus uh, in January of 1968. Uh, we celebrate his life and uh, also our motto goes with that uh, strength through diversity. And um, we attract students from, from all various ethnic backgrounds, various racial backgrounds and um, from from all over. We we have, um, I think, 30 or so states represented um, and uh, 20 countries represented with around 80 international students um, also. So uh, we, we really believe uh, a diverse campus is a more rich and um, uh, interesting place to study and um, uh, for your college experience. And if you don't find an organization here that your uh, that that piques your interest. You can create your own, um, and that's what Zoe Schilling has done. She created her uh, organization called Zumba with Zoe. She gets people out there, get, keeps them healthy and active in our wide green open area we call the tundra. Uh, so lots of things that you can do, uh, and just keep that in mind. This might be something that you you want to start in college. And you'll get lots of, a lot of support for that. We have the color ones, the camel rides in the spring, mud volleyball tournament, and um, sometimes we'll bring back alums. And this, I think, is a famous alum, Bob Peterson, wrote the movie Up. He's come back to talk to campus. If you're interested in engineering and, um, or graphic design or animation, you know, look, at his, um, look at his videos on our website. Very inspiring. Um, and for our housing options, we have areas for our first year students called Founders. Um, we also have Lima Hall for where you have your own room in that case uh, for our sophomores and then um, juniors um, stay in the apartment. Some of our seniors do, some of our seniors uh, can live off. So we just have a three year residency requirement here. And as I was saying before, we have uh, individual houses for some of those uh, fraternities and sororities with um, apartments attached um, behind. So you get, a, you get an apartment and a, and a house um, that you can live in. Our meal plan is through Sodexo, and here's the website for that if you're interested in the wonderful food that we have here, all you can eat, and we start all of our students with a 19 meal plan, and, and there's so many options now, I love going there, um, and um, there's some uh, additional dining dollars that students uh, use as well at our various locations where you can get food like the dining hall, Wow Cafe, which is like an American grill kind of place, like an Applebee's or so. Um, Kosi's more like a Panera. So uh, various areas you can get food, um, plus 10 or 11 or so restaurants in town, uh, in the town of Ada, coffee shop. So we have a list of services too that um, maybe you've 
you recognize this from other colleges, um, but here too, and something new for us, uh, information technology building. Uh, it's a one-stop shop. Take your computer there if you need some help or with the computer or with the network. Um, they also can create videos uh, in that uh, building too. You might have a class in there too. They have some great spaces. But uh, if you have more questions about these services, please um, reach out to us and we'll love to answer those for you. And now I'm going to turn it over to Brendan. Hey, everyone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and cover the uh, application types we have here at ONU. Um, so at ONU, we take two different types of applications, um, one being our ONU application. Um, and that's right on our website, onu.edu slash apply. Um, that's free and it's been open since July 1st and you can go on and apply um, through there whenever. Um, and we also have the common application if you're familiar with that as well. Um, if you'll see on the, on the PowerPoint there, um, that's also free. That opened on August 1st. Um, the advantage to the common app, um, if you're applying to multiple different schools, um, that's nice to use. Um, if you're applying to six or more schools or um, a lot of schools, that's nice to just be able to send your application just to um, those schools and just do one application instead of going through and doing multiple. As far as application deadlines, um, the only school we have a deadline for here at ONU is December uh, 1st for the College of Pharmacy. Um, I always encourage students to apply by December 1st um, for the highest scholarship consideration. Um, by now, you might have started filing the FAFSA, uh, which opened on October 1st. And once we get your FAFSA information um, and you get accepted to the university, we start making that award letter for you and we start sending those out the first week of December. So that's kind of why I tell students to apply by December 1st so they can get their award letters and everything firsthand. As far as your application materials that you'll need um, for your application for admission, um, your actual application for admission, your high school transcripts, so six semesters of high school transcripts, um, from your freshman year to your junior year, the end of your junior year. Um, those senior year transcripts will be submitted once you actually enroll in the university and once you graduate. And also your ACT and SAT scores. Um, and there is a little asterisk by that, if you'll see, um, because those scores are optional for 2021. Um, if you have taken those tests, we definitely encourage you to uh, send those in. Um, still, but um, if you haven't, we're accommodating to those and everything as far as that goes. As far as additional materials go, if you're applying for the School of Pharmacy, you'll need a letter of recommendation, um, at least one, um, a maximum of two. You'll need an essay, um, and also you'll be doing an interview for that process as well. Um, and then if you're a musical or a musical theater student, um, you'll be doing an audition on campus um, or online uh, for those programs. As far as our review process here at Ohio Northern, we do a holistic review process. Um, so that means your application will be reviewed by me. Um, I'm the admissions counselor for Indiana. Um, so I'll be looking at things like your GPA, your test score, your extracurricular activities and your community involvement. We wanna see all of who you are as a student, um, and everything you've done in your academic and social life. Um, we want to know you more than just a GPA and a test score. We want to see all of who you are as a student and everything that you've accomplished here at ONU. And if you see at the bottom of that slide as well, um, you'll see some of our average um, high school GPA is right around a 3.7. Um, the middle 50% for the SAT here at ONU is 23 to 28. And then for the SAT, 50% uh, verb, the verbal portion is a 540 to 650. And then the math portion is a 555 to 660, as far as those averages go. We also um, give academic scholarships here at ONU. Um, so every student, once they're admitted to ONU, will receive an academic scholarship based on your GPA, your ACT and SAT score, and everything that I talked about on that last slide. So we have four different levels of scholarships here at ONU. We have our faculty scholarship, dean scholarship, trustee scholarship, and our presidential scholarship. Those scholarships range from $14,000 to $22,000 per year based on those, those criteria I was talking about earlier. 
And at the top of the screen, right under scholarships, you can go to www.onu.edu slash scholarship and cost calculator. There you can kind of see um, based on your current scores where you might be lining up as far as scholarships goes, um, just to kind of see what you might be getting as far as that goes. Um, those scholarships are good for all four years at ONU. You just have to re remain in good academic standing um, with the university, which is at least a 2.0 GPA from that standpoint. And like I said, um, for the state of Indiana, I am your admissions counselor. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. My email is at the bottom of the screen here, um, b-moorhead at onu.edu. And my number, uh, my office number is 419-772-2793. Um, we'd love to have you for a visit here at ONU. Uh, we're open for campus visits and um, doing those safely. So uh, feel free to schedule a visit um, in person um, so you can see the campus in person or virtually as well. We're doing virtual tours as well. So thank you so much. Thanks, Brendan. Appreciate that. Yeah. And um, I figured out how to um, get the poll to work. So I have another question for you, and I'm going to just pull it over uh, right now. Um, again, use your phone, access the QR code there. Um, and we just want some more information um, and just to collectively find out what worries you the most when thinking about college. Having a roommate, feeling lonely, making friends, dealing with finances, um, fearing professors, difficult classes, the freshman 15. Um, you know, we know college is such a big time uh, in, in one's life and um, we, we, we're just curious to see uh, what kind of things that you're, you're thinking about um, and what's, um, what concerns you. Um, and maybe you've talked this with, talked about this with your friends or with your family. We know for many, it can be a family decision too. And so it's we, why we encourage you to come visit campus and um, bring mom or dad or both and, um, and uh, come explore. And we can talk about some of these things, answer these questions that you might be having. Um, and don't feel afraid to call us or contact us. Um, we love talking to students and helping you through the process. And so that's our main goal. Um, so uh, feel, I hope you feel welcome to, to reach out to us. But very helpful information to see some of these percentages. Um, looks like having a roommate. <clears throat> you know, here um, there's many different ways that our students um, can do that. Sometimes they know someone from their high school or know someone that's coming to the college that they're planning on attending. And uh, here you can choose each other uh, and then you'll know who your roommate is. And some others might be an athlete, play sports, and through the coach, um, meeting other players as they're coming in, um, you know, maybe the summer before, um, can get acquainted that way. Um, or we have other ways of uh, filling out surveys and to kind of um, pair our students up with um, with someone else that has maybe similar similarities in their you know lifestyle and their scheduling um so um that's another way or, or through some of our social media channels too it can be another way that uh roommates meet each other um but with with a lot of the activities making friends and uh, there are a lot of ways of uh, of getting connected here um you know on the average here at ohio northern students are involved in I think five five is the average uh, number of organizations. Some are even involved more, like eight or eight or nine. So um, through those kind of um, opportunities, lots of ways that you can meet people. And with our increases in our, our scholarships, I'm really excited um, to, to hope to help more more families with the cost um, of education. Um, of course, there's a lot of um, great outcomes here and definitely um, is very a very valuable experience. 
and um, and so there'll be um, uh, opportunities for you to learn uh, about that through the, the financial aid process and, and what we'll be sending to you there. So so fill out the FAFSA um, and we'll um, we'll show you what those new numbers look like. And um, I, I think it's going to be very exciting this this coming fall. Um, and with our tutoring, it's free to students, you know, a lot of ways that um, students can get the help that they need. Um, our advisors, uh, our professors, they have um, hours that they can, um, you know, help students um, uh, sign up for, for different office hours and, um, you know, like with the tutoring with our uh, Student Success Center, uh, lots of ways to help you get the, the help that you need. Um, going to go to this next question here and um, uh, just give me one second is uh, there we go and the last question I have here are what are some reasons why you should be excited about college and maybe it's um, maybe it's a fresh start maybe it's you know being different experience than high school um, kind of a new family um, Maybe it's more freedom. And you can see um, with some of our living options, that, that's definitely going to give um, students a different um, lifestyle than what they're used to at home. Oh, or, or maybe it's uh, you know, being on, on your own, discovering more about yourself. And um, I, I want to mention, too, some students know exactly what they want to do. Um, and they have a clear idea. We have uh, many students that are a little bit unsure, and that's okay. Um, here at Ohio Northern, um, if you're if you click the box, if you apply and click the box undecided, um, we have uh, we have faculty members that and uh, staff that will help uh, kind of help you discover discover things along the way. Um, if you have absolutely not not sure what what area you want to go into, um, and we we can have you look at different um, outcomes that and from our students and what they are what they're doing and maybe getting to know some of those students in um, our general education uh, classes uh, that will also help you to, to understand um, some of the outcomes there what you could see yourself doing uh, within each college too um, like. If it's business, we have undecided business. If, if it's engineering, we have ex, um, engineering exploratory. Uh, for those under, undecided, they know it's engineering related, but not sure which kind. Um, so we have we have areas like that. If we if you're if you know it's going to be in the sciences, uh, you can check the box um, that you're interested in general sciences, and um, we'll sign you up for for those science courses and. Um, and help to gear you for gear you up for success in those science areas, but um, but this is helpful um, beginning with the rest of your life. And you know, there's a lot of great experiences that you can draw from here during your four years or more. If it's um, if it's um, if you're in the co-op program or if you're in the College of Pharmacy for the six years. So um, and um, I have one more question and I'm going to make sure it's uh, ready to go right here. Yep. And um, well, I'm not sure if that one's going to come up, but I appreciate your uh, input here uh, on those questions. And I do hope that um, you let us know if you have questions. Are, are there any questions now that? Um, that we can help you with. Let's look in. Let's look and see here. Hi, everybody. My name is Deb Miller. I'm our director of admissions. And as Dean and Brendan mentioned, we look, just look forward to working with you throughout this junior senior year process. Obviously, we know it's a very difficult time with the pandemic occurring right now. But if you do have any specific questions for us, please put those in the Q and A box, and we can answer those for you, either over over the screen. Are, are privately chatting. And they also mentioned the fact that we are taking current campus visitors. So with that campus visit, you can register at onu.edu backslash visit. We are taking appointments at 9 a.m. and also at 1 p.m. With each of those opportunities, you're gonna have a chance to meet with admissions to answer any admissions financial aid questions, go on a campus tour, 
with one of our current students, which we call our bear ambassadors because we are the polar bears, and then also meet with an academic area of interest. So if you're uncertain on an area of interest, we can have you meet with either a couple different areas if you have some different ideas, or if you're completely uncertain, which is, is fine, we can have you meet with our College of Arts and Sciences who goes over our general education core, along with the courses that are gonna be very important across the board with our four separate undergraduate colleges. So please feel free to put in the Q&A box any questions that you may have for us as we do still have a little bit of time and we would like to answer your questions as we have you on uh, the Zoom webinar. Thank you. In the time that you are giving us those questions, uh, I do have a few um, slides that show what we offer here um, at Ohio Northern. Um, and so, uh, Deb, please let me know if, if a question does come in. But uh, here in the College of Arts and Sciences, you can see some of the majors along with different concentrations uh, that we have. And um, over here on the right, uh, the Bachelors of Arts is indicated in BA, and then we have the Bachelor of Science. So some of them have more than one type of degree. Um, but um, if you have more detailed questions on that, that's um, feel free, feel, feel free to ask us. Um, and then in our interdisciplinary studies, um, you can see uh, those three that, that are listed there. And like I was saying, and, and Deb saying too, on uh, general sciences and general studies for those that are undecided. Dean, we did have a question come in. Okay, so great. a student asked if we have um, a comparison to, they visited the University of Finley recently for a pharmacy day experience. Does Owen, you have an equivalent to that? Um, and then the student will also have a associate's degree within, once they graduate from high school, does that give them any further into the, get them any further into the pharmacy program? And then finally, what does each individual year for the pharmacy look like? So it's kind of three questions in one. Great, let's, let's go with the first question, sorry. Uh, oh. Yep, so basically it asked um, if we have any equivalency to like a pharmacy day experience like they like at University of Finley. We, we did before the pandemic. Now, um, I, I, we, we, can, we can offer again, a, the visit coming here, meeting with uh, someone in the College of Pharmacy, um, and, and again, in person, um, we'll give you give you the information that you need. We we can also do virtual visits, but um, but with uh, the things the way the way it is, um, it's just been a little challenging for us to have bigger groups uh, on campus. So we we do in that case just to add on to what Dean said. So if you're looking for an experience with the College of Pharmacy with our regular campus visit, you would actually get that. So we would have you meet with the, the College of Pharmacy during your regular, regularly scheduled campus visit. Go on, as I mentioned, go on a campus tour. We would also tour you the facilities within the College of Pharmacy. So you'll get to see basically everything that you would on an experience type of day. The one thing that we are unable to do right now with the pandemic going on is allow anybody into classroom visits or overnight visits along with the residence halls. So we are actually showing virtual residence halls we are looking, our students will be done at the end of, or right at Thanksgiving this year. So we'll be completely done. There'll be no online afterwards because we moved up our start date two weeks. So we are looking for a few weeks after that to maybe bring students to campus and have, give them the opportunity, <coughs> excuse me, give them the opportunity to see the residence hall. In regards to the second question, graduating with an associate's degree. Um, so basically what that allows typically in the College of Pharmacy because of the set curriculum, <coughs> excuse me, because of the set curriculum is to have the experience of picking up a second major or a minor within the program. So one of the things that because we are very sequential and one of the big differences that we have, as Dean mentioned, we're a zero to six direct entry program in the College of Pharmacy. There's only a seven of those across the country. The big difference with our zero six program that's different than every other zero six program is what we offer for the first year. So our students are getting three classes, <coughs> are getting three hours per one hour per class as compared to most of the other places giving a one hour credit for the classes that they're taking in that first year. We're doing three hours because it goes more in depth and it's, it's fully, fully developed as compared to the one hour experience. 
So it does not necessarily give you advanced standing in the pharmacy program because of the sequential courses, but what it does is it gives you advanced standing and housing after that freshman year. We try to keep everybody in a cohort from the freshman standpoint, but after that you can move into the apartment style living a little bit quicker. So Dean had mentioned kind of the different styles of living on our campus. So that's where you would see, plus the other thing that it would give you an advanced standing on is to register for classes because those go by hours, college course hours. And then finally, an individual year for the pharmacy program. Dean, you, can you pull up the yep. six year plan that is online? For yeah, me, sure please? can, sure thing. And sorry for my coughing. I just got a, uh, a tickling in my throat, so I couldn't stop coughing. I apologize. So as a student, what you're going to see with the College of Pharmacy is um, kind of a, a little bit of a mixed standing of general ed course curriculum, along with those pharmacy hours that I mentioned. So you're going to get some pretty in-depth programs right away within the College of Pharmacy and within the, the College of Pharmacy coursework. So our classes that we have is three hour classes, our pharmacy classes from day one and they're three hours as compared to one hour, like most of the other zero six programs offer. Oops, I think I missed it. Um, student organizations. Dean, it should be toward the top. Okay. Pharmacy. No, that's the faculty. Oh, my fault. No. I remember seeing it, but now I'm not sure if I remember. I have the list of courses. Um, and right in front of me. Um, yeah, you can go over those, Dean. First year, introductory chemistry and general biology, human anatomy, histology, calculus, and probability for life sciences, plus the profession of pharmacy. So yeah, starting with pharmacy classes day one, um, then wellness, fitness, life activity, and then general electives. Um, and then the second year is the profession of pharmacy, uh, again, with organic chemistry, statistics for pharmacy, Applied Sciences of Pharmacy, Medical Microbiology, and then of course, 15 hours of electives. So you can definitely, it was 10 hours of electives in your first year. So, so anyway, that's all the first two years. Here, the third year is uh, again, Professional Pharmacy, then Professional Pharmacy Skills Module, Biochemistry, Self-Care and the Pharmacist, Physiology, Pharmaceutical Sciences, Biosciences Laboratory, and then uh, 11 hours of general education and electives. And then the fourth year, um, they have a couple classes, um, but then most of them are modules, which is um, three week intensive training on particular subjects like um, um, infectious diseases this, or immunology. And so that's that's the fourth year and fifth year. And the sixth year, um, it's called Advanced Pharmacy Practice Experiences. Students will choose uh, various areas, various um, areas in pharmacy, and uh, will go to different sites a, a month each. Um, not, there's nine of those. Um, and then after those um, are completed, um, take the licensure test and, and you'll have the doctorate of pharmacy. All right, so our time is about up. Again, we wanna, uh, wanna thank you again for coming um, and learning more about Ohio Northern. 
um, please reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you. We'd love to um, host um, and allow you to experience ONU here uh, in person or virtually. So please do reach out to us. And uh, we look forward to, to working with you and reading uh, your applications. Thanks. Thank you for joining us and thank you to our presenters from Ohio Northern. After you close this window, there's a very quick four question survey that will appear. So we request that you do that. Please sign up for more sessions at inacac.org backslash virtual dash college dash dash exploration. And remember that recordings are available and are available, will be available at the same website. Thank you very much.